a killer that uses a knife as a weapon. Uh, it's a lot different scenarios, a whole nother can of worms. And let's just say a sniper that shoots the victim at a distance, very little contact. And not only murder by knife, but 11 stab wounds to this girl's face, neck and head. Yeah, like I said earlier, it's highly personal. It's highly violent. A lot of energy behind it. And the other thing that's been striking me here, too, is so they call 911 and no one shows up. Why wouldn't anyone bring her to the hospital in a car? I mean, you have people on scene, supposedly, at least someone was, that called 911. When they didn't show up, why not put her in a car and move? Go. Do something. Take action. That's what's really surprising, one of the many surprising things in this entire situation. And as, as her cousin was saying earlier, too, living a, a life in isolation where you're taking care of your wonderful grandparents that have raised you, she lacked a lot of social reps, too. So she might not have been able to really cue in on unsafe situations from individuals in, in, in that she's surrounded by possibly. So you know what? That's a really good point. Situation. She had led this very, you know, this woman, Amber, is only 4'11". She is very diminutive. She's been socially awkward her whole life. She was bullied in school, went from one school to the next. Socially awkward. And how excited do you believe she was to get invited out after work by a prominent dentist who owned the Brickhouse restaurant where she worked, and co-workers. How fun would that be? And just imagine this is late at night after the restaurant closes. They go out, and somehow she ends up dead with 11 stab wounds 